We were going up on an Inca path up to the waterfall and all of a sudden I heard the sound of water coming down and then we looked in our path and this flood of water was coming down and we just were lucky that in a matter of a moment we were able to just get off the way and go at the higher level and the water luckily missed us. We were able to get all the track of this huge amount of water that was coming up from the hills. We were just lucky. We were just by a matter of a moment missed this path. Wow. Now we have to find a way back. How are we going to go back? <laughs> and the magic of the nature. And the sound of the flowing water. Somehow we were going up the Inca Pass and all of a sudden we heard the rushing water and in a matter of a moment we were able to get off the path of this flowing water. After the flooding in the river we somehow managed to go through the bushes although they are so sharp they have the worst possible imaginable like cactus and we're all bloody all over our legs and our hands but we managed to come down about perhaps one quarter of our way to these bushes and so we are taking a break for the moment <laughs> fun 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 <laughs> and uh, we're hopefully going to make it all the way down <laughs> This is Ricardo's daughter, Florence, and uh, here is a river that has been giving us such a hard time. When we were going up this Camino, there was absolutely not a drop of water here. And we were just going up and up and up, and all of a sudden we heard this flowing water. I first thought it was just a cascade and be getting close but then we really knew we had to run run up to the higher ground All right, you know, we are now going along the river because I think the danger is kind of a little less. Despite the danger that we faced as we moved along this river, the Inca path, I'm so happy that I am here overlooking this amazing cliffs, this gorgeous smell of the earth after the rain, the trees, the sound of the river, just the bliss, just the bliss, just the bliss. Oh God, I am so grateful. Thank you for giving us a quick warning to get off the path of this flooding river 
that we didn't know it was coming down. Hmm, so delicious to be here and so grateful. You're still totally stuck in the valley and it's getting late. <laughs> we crossed the river multiple of time with so much difficulty. It was very dangerous but somehow we find just the least risky way to cross although all my money in my pockets are wet. But so far I have saved the camera, which is the most important. And uh, we're going to make it, hopefully. <laughs> right? Are we going to make it? <laughs> wow, such a day. We had to bend to walk through all these trees. So my back is probably going to be aching for days because it's just like I've been in Vietnam in the bushes going, you know, from like the North Viet Cong military going and attacking and surprising the Saigonese and the Americans. <laughs> we finally made it through this valley and the path of Inca. I just can't believe how the clouds in such a short time can release such a huge volume of water up up in the mountain and then flood this whole river that has been dried out for almost for years and years and years. All of a sudden you have this amazing flow of water that suddenly takes you by surprise and then you have to come and somehow make it through this canyon. Wow, we made it, we made it, we made it. We made it back. All safe. I can't believe I just have about a few more hours left from my stay in this amazing La Roja. Such an experience, such a day, so grateful. Thank you God, thank you Lord for all the blessing to bring us safely through these canyons, through the flood. Wow, so grateful. Seems all the birds in the valley starting to sing for us. That we made it safely through this valley. So I'll be quiet for a moment and let you listen. End of the day. Here's Jessica and the beautiful 
Ignacio. Hello, Ignacio. Is uh, Mr. Ricardo Moreno, who really was worried for us and sent the whole police department of the <laughs> city to come for our rescue. <laughs> and the beautiful daughter. <laughs> And Francisco, which was so wise and really was the best, best, best guide to bring us safely back to to town. <laughs> Bravo, everybody! That was wonderful.